Let's practice the Morgan's theorems. Anytime you are going to have primes like this, you have to remember that we have to always start from the longest bars. And remember, anytime we are going to cut the bar below that cut, we're supposed to change the sign from OR to AND or from AND to OR. Now, I have bar over the whole expression. The question is, at which point I supposed to cut my bar? You have to realize that whatever I have inside of the parentheses is going to be recognized as a one term. This is one term. And C is going to be recognized as a second term. I have to cut the bar just above the junction of these two terms. Means I have to cut this bar at this point. If I'm going to cut the bar at this point, automatically this end sign is going to change to OR. So I'm going to end up with A, B, not, not because I cut the bar, and end supposed to be changed to OR, and I'm going to have C not. Now remember that anything inverted twice is basically the same thing, right? So these two bars are going to cancel each other. They're going to cancel each other because they're equally, they're equal in length. So I simply just cancel them out. Answer is A, B, or C naught. But because I have OR over here, I can eliminate these two parentheses and I simply can answer this problem as A, B, or C naught. Let's take a look at the next example. Again, I have a very similar situation. Whatever I have inside of the parentheses is going to be recognized as a single term. So I have two terms. I have A naught, naught with B. And I have D and it with C naught. Where I supposed to cut my bar? Exactly above the junction which joins these two terms. Simply, I'm going to cut my bar at this point. Anytime I'm going to cut the bar, I have to change the operation from AND in this case to OR. That's why I'm going to write A NOT or B NOT NOT or the C not not. Now, because these two bars are equal, that's why I'm going to cancel them out. And I'm going to end up with A not or B or now, I'm going to cut this bar, this point, exactly at the junction which joins these two variables together. So I'm going to change my AND to OR. That's why I'm going to have D NOT or C NOT NOT. Let me rewrite this expression. I'm going to have A NOT or B or D not or remember any variable or term inverted twice is going to give me always the same variable. That's why I'm going to cancel these two bars and I'm going to write C over here. Because we have different variables inside of the parentheses and we cannot simplify any further any of these expressions, that's why I can just ignore the parentheses and write my answer as A not or B or D not or C. This is the solution.